again then <laughs> did you if you stay all the way to the end of this video you can see what actually happened you got war wounds just in the beginning I, uh, anyway i'm not going to talk about it watch the end of the video and you can see what actually happened there right so shoot up time it is a shoot out <laughs> now fender mm. um i'm a big fan of fender amps uh we use hot rod deluxe all the time Mm -hmm. uh, I love the old super reverbs. I like the old twin reverbs. They are heavy. I used to have a twin. They're really loud. You know the twin with the red knobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the evil twin, oh, as man. they call it. Yeah. They do a little sixty ver uh, watt one, like in pure va a pure valve with sixty watt, and it's like one twelve in it, and it's the same size as these, but like sixty watt watt valve. And I saw one come up on like eBay, and I'm going, ooh, I'm just get deafening. One. Yeah, it's so loud. Anyway, so Fender has. Uh, in the range that's been a champion 40 champion mm. Champ champion, champion mate champion, 40 champion for like a long time you used it in a video I did it was sound like John Mayer for under 500 pounds exactly mm. and uh, but then now they've, they've sort of brought this out it's, we literally just got them in the shop I was online earlier to try to find out um, if there was anybody else that's done any videos on it but mm. I couldn't see anything so there was no videos online on YouTube. Can you believe it or not? So they must be just, they, they sneaked it under the cover. I thought I heard something about it at NAMM, but they sneaked it in sort of. So um, this is new. Yeah. So this is um, a 50 watt version with a with a uh, midnight speaker in it. So it's a, sp a special Celestian speaker. Right. It's a two channel. Uh, it's got all the effects in there. Oh yeah. Um, headphones out, aux in, you know, foot switch. Got a tap tempo for the delay. Yeah, and I believe maybe you can use that via the switch. I'm not completely 100% sure about that because it is literally just open it up to get out the case earlier today. So it's kind of like Fender's 
a version of yes this and this is why i wanted to do this video with you because katana 50 has been katanas in in the just king the king undeniable yeah we've done lots of videos you can go back and have a look we did uh we did shootouts on with the all, all of the the modeling kind yeah. of amps right that was a king video that yeah was so that was, many took such a long day mm. the, the shootout of middle earth or whatever what yeah. is it called like that. <laughs> <I can't laughs> Yeah, it was but, a whole day long. But this uh, came out on top, didn't it? Along with a couple. Yeah, others, I think but... the Black Star mm. and the Vox. I think those two were really good. Valtronics. Um, yeah. yeah, but we we thought it hasn't. There's nothing where it's as simple mm. as just plugging in. The Black Star's a little bit like that. Yeah. Um, but Fender has sort of pushed this in under the radar because I don't think they've made a big song and dance out of it. I thought I heard something about Nam that might bring out something that yeah. should kind of compete in that price point and that, you know, in that and 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 this is the this is the Champion 50. Similar form factor to that, same wattage. Yeah, same wattage, a little bit taller. That might be why it's an XL. Uh, it's a little bit a little bit um, larger. I don't know why they call it an XL. But there are less knobs. Less knobs. But also it's interesting because this voice switch isn't a notch switch. So obviously you've got different voices like clean with a compressor, then yeah. crunch with an overdrive, but it's not on a, you know, it's just a yeah, continuous yeah, 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 knob. Yeah, yeah. So that's quite interesting. Where this has got the... Yeah, the voicing switch. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so comparison, that's 179 pounds UK at the moment. That's this so is 196. Affordable. I think it's come up like 10 quid or something recently. But, but they're more or less... Yeah, they're more or less the same amount of money. So. It's whether you, do you need, this one can do like an acoustic, has this got an acoustic setting on it? I don't um, think it got an acoustic, does it? No. No. This has got an acoustic input, um, amp type on it. You know, you've got a middle and a treble here, you've got a um, gain, you've got a gain on there. Mm -hmm. Just sort of quickly going, uh, you got boom, this has got an editor, you can hook your computer up to, I don't believe this has got an editor. But all in all, they are very, very similar spec. Yeah, right. I guess when you can plug the computer in, you've got access to loads of the boss effects in there. Yes, you, you can know, do so all the boss effects. It's way more expandable, I suppose. Yeah. And you can use this as a uh, an interface. Mm. So once you've hooked it up to your computer, it'll show up in, in uh, Garrett's band. Garrett's band. Garage band. Garage band, or garage band. Um, so, it's, so that'll show up, so you can use it at that, you know, and um, it's lightweight. That, that They're similar size, similar weight. Uh, but do they sound the same? Are they as loud as each other? Is the overdrive channel good? How does the reverbs compare? How does it take pedals? How does it take pedals? In the front. In the front end. Mm. Mm. Something I was going to just say is your mic's upside down. I don't that's know. fine. Okay. That's um, no effects loops. No effects loops. This doesn't have an effect loop. Mm -mm. I don't think that's got an effect loop. They, they provide the effects for you kind of thing, so you don't have to add extra Exactly. Stuff. Anyway, yeah. shall we get into it? Yes, we shall. Shall we get into it? So, uh, let's go on a clean setting. Let's okay. put everything at 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. And, it's going to be um, loud. Yeah, so this has got a variable switching for the wattage, which yeah, is this... quite handy. Uh, that's r right there, on out, off the bat. <laughs> yeah. um, I really like that, that you can power it down from 50 to 25 to 0 0.5. To nothing. And then to stand by. Mm. So that's pretty cool. Plus you've got some channel, channel settings up, so channel 1, 2 and 3, where you can set your own channels depending on how you want them. I think the um, flexibility of that sort of trump it like goes way above this, but it's about the tones today. It's about the tones today, and it's about how easy it is just to plug it in and get good tones. So mm -hmm. let's hear your clean channel, my dear fellow. Okay. And then I'll hand you this uh, car play, um, and then uh, we'll see. So I've set the reverb not on 12 o'clock, because I think that's probably a bit too much. Yeah, same. And also, because this doesn't have variable wattage at half volume, that's probably quite pokey. So we'll just test it so really let's fast. see what happens so. and what are you playing there today this is an ibanez rg xyz a b c d e f g <laughs> one two three s series yeah so a lot of you guys have, have commented when we are doing these videos so oh, either we play like a four grand guitar into a katana or we play a you know or we play a uh, you know a 200 pound guitar 300 pound guitar into a 700 or yeah. two thousand pound amp so, Evenly matched, I guess, so, isn't it? So this this is about two hundred odd quid. This mm -hmm. is about three hundred odd quid. Mm. Um, They're great. So these are really good. Anyway, sorry to interrupt you. That's all right. Go on, my fellow. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Position four. So it's like a split sound. <laughs> Thank you. 
I like that. That sounds great. It's I think a good that sounds clean. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really good, clean, nice, and it's 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 very full. I, I think the the Celestian speakers in here is sort of voiced to work with this. It doesn't seem to do the the, the fluttery thing that happens when there's a lot of bass on a on a more affordable amplifier. If it's like a, not a decent speaker, you get that. Yeah, yeah. I don't flutter. Know you, yeah, flutter. <laughs> but that that's handling that that low end kind of. Yeah, that yeah. might be why they've made the cabinet slightly uh, larger. That's why it'd be minus an XL to get a bit more air punched mm. out of the front of it. So let's Good. see. You plug into this now. Um, <coughs> is there a mute switch on that? No. There's not a mute switch on it. Okay. So here's the Katana in 50 watt mode uh, on the clean channel uh, with everything on 12 o'clock. And actually, I've put the <laughs> I've put the effects uh, reverb, which is kind of on. Nine o'clock like yours. So here's 50 watts. Let's see. It's, well, it's not. It's not as good. This that's is not just, a, just to my ear. Yeah, that's got a better clean sound. It's got a much box. better clean sound. There's more. There's there's more in in the room. We'll try to mix in some of the uh, some of the room mics. It's fuller. Mm -hmm. It's lovelier. Mm -hmm. It's got more of that Fender blackface yeah. tone, mm -hmm. uh, which I'm a big fan of. Like uh, where this. Let me just try because there's a gain and a volume on here. So let me try to see if I turn the gain down uh, on the clean channel. And then put the volume up a bit, so so instead of pushing the the gain front end, we'll just go as clean as we can. It's it's okay. It's better. I mean, let's, like, let's go back. Let's just quickly go back to the other one. And then we got this. It just seems louder and cleaner. Uh, that that loud, right? Yeah, uh, and you're on fi you're on fifty as well. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on fifty, and uh, the master is almost up till three o'clock, and the Volvo. Vol 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 the mm -hmm. <laughs> that's like a car. The yeah. Volvo Volvo. Uh, it's almost up to three o'clock as well, which is really interesting because I seem to remember these would be much louder than this. Yeah, it, um, it does seem like this one's sort of tuned louder with the volume halfway. But yeah. even so, I'm I'm preferring that that warmer, fit, fuller, low yeah. end sound of the clean channel. This is really interesting because mm. you can see that people, you know, like Fender or has has learned a lot from. From something like this, mm -hmm. and it's one of those leap, those you know the elastic bands when you go like this, and then it oh, catches totally. up. totally. But these it, are the guys that pioneered beautiful clean tones. Absolutely, you and know. also the the, the um, I remember when the fur, the Mustang Three came out. Mm. That's, that was in the video as well. The Mustang Three mm -hmm. cleans up just gorgeous and loud and full. Um, interesting. That is very interesting. I wasn't That's, expecting that. I wasn't expecting that either, yeah. actually. And this is the first time we plugged them in side to side. So yeah. That is very interesting. Now, let's um, let's try some crunch. Crunch. Okay. Crunch. So you have since you plugged into that. So you've got a little wheel there that says. Yeah, I'm gonna get. Oh, there's uh, a it's, compressor on there. Yeah, there are different types. So obviously, crunch, the, the lights change from red, amber to green. Yeah. Uh, and you can you can move through different types of crunch. And also, I've got gain. So this has got humbuckers. Uh, so let's just have a listen. Just don't want to make it too too loud. It's good. Uh, it's very good. It is nice. <laughs> That's very good. If we move the dial, what happens? And all the way to that. 
So that's with the overdrive pedal in. I like that. I do. I prefer it without the overdrive on. Uh, for me personally, but it's it's still there's loads let's, of that warm low end. Let's try it with the strat. Just uh, I'll just plug in and see. <coughs> Excuse. Excuse. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yeah, man. It sounds good. That's good. That is good. And there's a lot, it seems like there's a lot of headroom, too. Oh, hang on. And now I'll, I'll hand you this. Ooh. I'll hand you that. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot. I mean, I mean you can hear that it's a, um, that is, that is definitely a solid state amp because it cracked, it, it, there's something that yeah. is. Uh, and there's a little bit of fluffy get, sounding. Yeah, yeah, when it gets loud, it sort of loses that like natural sort of fatness that, mm. uh, that a tube amp would get. Anyway, let's just have on 50 watts, let's see, here's some crunch, clean crunch. Ooh. Oh. So this is where the volume comes in, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, on this amp, absolutely, yeah, 100%. Oh, yeah, 12, reverb down a bit, let's see what happens. There's, there's more presence there. I have to roll some of the treble off. There is a lot uh, of presence. And I'll put some treble down and put the bass up a bit. Uh, and I've taken the gain down to about nine o'clock. like that sound I, I don't I don't mind that at all I think that's pretty good yeah, uh, yeah it's yeah, yeah. kind of clear it's, it's bright yeah but can I have to plug please let's see swip swap swip swap all right let me put a bit of bass in there because that's definitely different isn't it? So there's definitely more output from those humbuggers. Oh yeah. So let me put yeah. a bit more gain. Need a bit more gain. That's funny, as long as I put a gain in there. Yeah, it gets the get, low end. It gets yeah. the low end in there, that's funny. Hmm. Oh, what are we saying here? Are we saying there actually might be a new king in town? It, that might this just price, be. At this price point. Yeah, I mean, uh, to be fair, watts. only going on what sounds like in the room. And this one seems to be packing way more of a punch. There's much more headroom in yeah, it. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Interesting. I just think there is a new king in town. Yeah. Is that what's happening? Is this what's happening right now? It's happening. Is this what is this what hap is this what's happening? Well, there's two tests left. We've got to do high gain and we've got to see if it takes pedals. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's go high game then. Let's um, let's start. Whom boo cares? Let's let's okay. go on there. Okay. You start with this. I'll start with this one. Okay. I'll put this on lead on okay. the lead channel. All right. And then fifty watts and uh, everything on twelve o'clock. Gain on twelve o'clock. Here we go. Not, the reverb's not going to be up. Uh, okay. Let's have a look. <laughs> Okay. It's it's bright. It's very bright. It is bright. One thing I do always do when I'm playing a katana is I roll off the presents. I yeah, do do that. They're quite high and then mm. there's quite there's a lot there's a lot in there. Okay, so now here you go. Try that. Z oh. Z oh. <laughs> every time. Works every time. Okay. So here we go. Plug it in. That flamey mm. 230 quid guitar. So we're going we're oh no! Uh, oh yes, you're in there now. Yeah, so I'm in. So hop over to there's a British. There's a British, and then so you go from, yeah, so you go from, from US to so defend, and then you go into British, and uh, which is there. Okay, ha clock. halfway on everything. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Some of those, are, some of those to my ear immediately sound really cool. Some of them, I think you need a bit of work on. Yeah. So you, what have you got there? You got British, and then it goes with the distortion, with and then distortion. you got metal, and then you got with, uh, with plus octave. Oh, an octave. Oh. <laughs> that's awesome. That's really what a cool awesome. thing to just add yeah, to the front. Like, all the way up, just, we just put an octave on. Yeah, there. boom. Oh, okay, like well let's let's me just quickly put this on the brown sound. That's wicked. Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm really glad. Oh, we just really, added that. We are I'm really honestly surprised of this. Yeah, there's really? a lot of a lot of low end, a lot of warmth. Okay, I'm yeah. gonna put on some bass and take some treble off of this. All right. Um, go on. <laughs> It's good. There's a fist going on, isn't there? There is there's a fist a, going on. There's a fist, a fist going on there that that, that doesn't have. No. Ma I, 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 mean, do, I do still like the way that one sounds on the high gain. Though. Yeah, it's good high gain tones, clean tones on that one, absolutely brilliant. For the octave um, thing, that's wicked. I think it could have something to do with that midnight speaker, the midnight 60 watt speaker that's in there. It's, it's a lot to do with it's it. It's a lot to do with the speaker, doesn't it? Mm. Can I just have a go on, on that one from the, on the, um, where we're here? On the octave. I just want to try the... <laughs> No, I just want to try the British uh, okay. setting. Yeah. With the distortion on.
Yeah, that sounds good, man. Like honestly, when we did the British with the uh, with the distortion, it's just a good sound. It's just that. that I'm gonna say the, sp the speaker is. I think it's a lot to do with the speaker. I, I must admit, it's not as harsh to the ear. Yeah, I think there might be a new king in town. Yeah, I mean, when you when you want when you buy an amp that's that kind of money, uh, you know, you expect certain things like lots of features, lots of effects, all that kind of. They cram everything into it. You know, it's the new trend in the last sort of five years, isn't yeah, it? With with yeah, with the Bluetooth app, and, yeah, you, yeah. and you know, you got your you no, know, you got your what have we got? Marshall Code, ID Core, with the Insider. You know, once you get the amp, when you get inside, <laughs> when you, get inside you can really use the amp. Exactly, yeah. you can really use the amp. Then yeah. you got all this stuff: stereo effects, Line Six Spider. Yeah. You know, there's so much stuff going on. It's like app, app paralysis of, mm. of of stuff. Yeah. Like I don't know what to do, mummy. Help me, mummy. You know, <laughs> when you just want to go into the front end and this just feels go. simple, out of the box, easy to use, plug and play vibes. 179 quid. Yeah, for, and it's actually more affordable as well. I'm well. I am impressed, genuinely. And I love the katana. Like, I'm a huge advocate of the katana. Yeah. I, uh, me too. But, but I, that I, is really damn good. But that said, that said. <laughs> we didn't know what the outcome oh, of this no. video was going to be. I didn't be. know I did. This is yeah. honestly just generally um, what the F ism is happening right now for me. This is like, yeah. uh, this is, I'm, I'm lit. <laughs> we, should, we should go and get just, just for, for, the, for the shits and giggles. Let's go and get a 100 watt mm. really quickly and stick it here and just go compare them and see if, the, if, if that makes any difference. I do think the two Should speaker we, version will sound. No, just, I just want the 100 watt. Oh, the 100 watt combo. Yeah, just mm. want the 100 watt combo, stick that here and then see how that compares. Just at the end of this video, we'll just do a quick Do you want to te test pedals out real fast? Yes, let's do pedals really fast. Okay. So I'm going wow. to go then, back to clean. So here, you, you just just squish you mentioned. Reverb, chorus, flange. I like they put flange in there. I love that. Flange. They have put flange in there. Put flange. A delay plus reverb. Wah. Vibe. And tremolo. A wah. And you, yeah. Auto wah. Auto wah. Oh, yeah. And you've got you've got the vibe, you know, which is like a Jimmy thing. Mm -hmm. And you've got the same in here. All mm -hmm. effects are the same. You turn up and you go to a point. It's got a tap tempo. It's got a tap tempo. So the effects are pretty similar. Let's hear how it takes your OD3 on the floor. Okay. Uh, and which is also an affordable pedal. Uh, I'm, I'm in that one there. Okay, let me, let me just, I'll, I'll play. Okay. I'll play. So here's it. That's a, just a clean channel now. That's just a clean channel. Can I just point something out? We haven't touched the treble and the bass on this. It's no, just we been sitting yeah. on the on the whole time. Please. a bit pokey on the top end it is but it's yeah. it's still not quite as brittle as i was expecting it to absolutely sound. not let me have that cable there please and i'll plug this cable in so we use the same od3 ah! so this is without i'll turn it off first okay. is it an advances that it's a bus pedal into a bus amp who knows <laughs> Pretty good. That's all right. Oh, that That's okay. Good. That's okay. I can I can deal with that. Actually, it sounded better. I've got a blue drive on the floor, and I put that on, and I was like, yeah, that's more like what I want the amp to sound like. Yeah. Um, but you can also get that blues driver in the katana. Yeah. So mm. you can put that on, but the the, the point is of these amp is what does it sound like when, when you plug it yeah, straight yeah, yeah. in, and you don't have any pedals. Mm. Um, and at this moment in time, and this moment in time, 
because I've got one of these and I've had it for two years and I've done gigs with it and mm. I use it a lot and, I, and and it's great. This point in time, I'm leaning towards that. Yeah, and I that's think... for somebody who's got one. Is going. I wouldn't. I would. Oh man, I, do I say it? Say <laughs> this is controversial because I know you guys are going to be going on. Oh, Rob and Rabir and Pete and you all and they always use the katana and, and that stuff. Mm. And that's because it's a good amp. Otherwise, yeah. we would not use it. But right this moment in time. I prefer that one. Yeah, I must admit, to, the, to my ear in the room, I'm preferring the sound of it. I'm saying it's down to the speaker, personally, but we could be, could be sort of mistaken. Could oh, just be better. Oh, oh. I mean, they kept that quiet. Yeah, they did. Hadn't they? Mm. They kept that quiet. We literally got three amps in. And, and that was it, like, oh, no, there's something. Do you want to do a, you know, should we, should we just see if, if it's any good? <laughs> it is good. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to snap my fingers. And when I do, we're going to come back just with a hundred watts, just because I want to. Just because I want to. Because you want to. Because you want to. Because you, because you, because you <laughs> want to. Well, Rabir, we are back now. We are back. And um, with here is amp. the uh, the hundred watts. That's the hundred watt version. Yeah. Same so, amp. Just okay. Watts. Let's just run it for fifty for a minute, just to see what it does. I'm right. here. Here we go. Okay. Plug that in over there. That's a clean. And this is the that's the input for the amp, and this is the input for your for the guitar signal. Alright. So here's the clean signal from uh, you clean channel now. Yeah, twelve o'clock. Okay. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the Katana hundred on fifty watt. Everything on twelve o'clock. Everything in twelve. Here's on hundred watt. That's more like it. Yeah, it is. It's the hundred watts and the bigger, the bigger chassis, I think, makes it's the providing difference. more low end. Yeah, because that headroom. chassis is more that size. Mm. But now we're talking two hundred and sixty-eight pounds. Yeah. So it's almost, a no, it's ninety quid more expensive than that is. Yeah. This just is just what I wanted to hear. Headroom. I just wanted to hear the clean channel compared to each other. Even the fifty watt sounds different it on does. the fifty watt to that one. You know, the 50 watt setting in this is slightly different to the 50 watt setting in that. But then when you plug this one in, it's still, it's still that, much bigger. It's that, it's that mid range in it as well, that low end mid range kind of thing that's just really nice. It's the speaker, man. The difference, the fundamental difference between these two, obviously apart from the fact that they're obviously made by different people, is that they, they make a selling point out of the speaker that's in there. Yeah. Now you have to it's get the Katana. Selection. Yeah, you have to get the Katana artist to get the Wazacraft speaker, which is their, which is heralded as their their best speaker. You yeah. Know? Yeah. So I do think that, and we always say that, you know, you can plug a JCM eight hundred into an AVT cab and it'll sound nowhere near as good as if you plug it into a nineteen sixties A or something. Yeah, yeah. It's so the speakers are, are makes a huge difference. That's my hunch, but yeah, like you said, the video will become incredibly we long winded. Could, yeah, we can start putting other speakers into these. We could do that, you know. We could take a, a heavy magnet uh, screen back Celestian and stick yeah. it in this if we wanted to. But then it's then we are in a territory that then you have to pay eighty quid, one hundred twenty quid for a speaker on the top of, and then you might as well buy a so a I think what deluxe. I think we've reached a conclusion. I think we have bang for your buck in terms of tone. Yeah. Absolutely. The Champion 50XL. Yeah. And that's just based on our first experience of this in the last however long this video has been filmed for. Yeah. And this is not, we, we haven't used any of the effects. No. So whoever's going to go through, oh, effects, 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 you go and watch some other video over mm. that because it's not about the effects. It's this is a tone about, test. It's a, it's a tone test. Tone test. Tone this trials. Is a tone king. Yeah. Tone trials. Yeah. Yeah. So the effects, go and try them out yourself. They are, these are in stock. Both of the amps are in stock right now. Come and take them out, you know. You were saying then in terms of functionalities with the record out, with your USB mm -hmm. that can become a start, you know, an interface with uh, effects and pedals and all the pedals you're going to hear. Yeah, the, you get, the, the, the guitar still takes it for expandability and stuff. And also there's an entire community on the internet that like hack into the system of the katana and make their own patches and sounds yeah yeah which which might you know which might give it more low end or you can yeah, like, you might sorts. be able to add a boost in here to give it more low end and all this sort of stuff but at the moment below 200 pounds 
And it's more affordable. For me. Yeah, impressed. Fender, you've done a good one. Good one. Good one, Fender. And on, on that note, mm -hmm. on that mic drop, pick drop. <laughs> See you later. I've done that before and it's just like, your finger just goes... Oh. I can feel it coming as well. I can feel it coming as well. That's what she said. Uh. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Sorry, oh. man. No, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> Always warm up, kids.